a good friend of both of ours, Mr. Gabriel Iglesias. The yes, first special yes. I did was specifically right, speaking. Right, that's right, because he, he spoke to me about you when oh, he was on the so podcast wonderful. a couple months ago. Gabe is a yeah. good kid. Gabe is a blessing to the uh, community. He's one of the very yeah. few. I got a, a call the other day from a comic. That whole school over there is very down to earth. I got a yeah. call from a comic that Joe Coy called him out of the blue and said, send me the bills you got for the month. I want to pay him. You know, those guys do things like that, that, you know, we all do in certain different aspects. We all have good Gabe hearts in certain me. different aspects, you know, but he's uh, been one of those guys for me. And I'm so thankful. One thing he told me was, you know, after, you know, doing something like so kind for me. I was like, I can never pay you back for this. He was like, you can pay me back by doing this for somebody when you get the chance. That's, and it, it just blows my mind, the kindness. That that's those words to live from. by. Gabriel knows that part of comedy after a certain level is 50% stage and 50% how you act towards young comics and how you yeah. compose yourself. Like, I realized this last time when I went to the store after not going there for seven years, I was a different person. So I had to act a different way. As stupid as it sounds, I, you know, I have to set an example in a way. I set a bad mm -hmm. example right off the bat by getting into a fist fight up there, but that's just to let motherfuckers know I'm back. You got you to you light somebody up. Sometimes, no, sometimes you, got, you just got to let You got to let motherfuckers know, and that's exactly what I did at the comedy store. Do I regret it? Yes, because... I'm supposed to act a certain way, being my age and how long I've been doing comedy and stuff. And that's also part of it is en encouraging comics. Yeah. Encouraging comics the same way. I had brilliant comics encourage me, you know. In, and they were honest with me, which, I don't, you know, I don't like smoke being blown up my ass. No. Nope. Nothing and feels that's worse when, when you have people a bad like, set. And they tell you you had a good set, and you're like, man, I don't even want you around me no more. Yeah, you know liar. when you yeah. didn't have a good set. You like know. you don't gotta tell me. I just ate it up there. I already know. I asked a comic in the beginning of my career. I was working with this guy, Jim Mandrinos, and I was uh, opening for him. And I asked him, and it was, I wanted an honest answer, and I got it. I said, Do you think I'm a good comic? And he went, No, but you will be. And it was the most honest anybody in the business had ever been with me. And I didn't take it personal. I knew what he was talking about. I didn't have enough experience. I should, I knew to stay in my lane early on, like stay in my lane. I needed to learn the lessons. I think a lot of the comics you meet now, some of them are in such a rush to get to that next level when they don't even know what it entails. Well, they don't know what it takes. It's better to want than to have. Yeah. When you're a second year comic, you can't wait to do this, this, and this, and this. And not only as comics, but only as human, even as human beings, we do things. I always talk about that tape where Jamie Foxx destroys mm. Doug Williams, okay? That's something that I like Doug. I think Doug's a great kid. Doug put me on his show. But if you look at that night, Doug didn't belong there. And since I got here day one, I used to always have a saying, don't go where you don't belong. If you're not doing a spot there, don't go there. Yeah, but that you is, have to, what's philosophy. the word they say? What's the word they say? You network. have to, you have to network. You network on stage. If you kill on stage, the word gets out. Networking, mm -hmm. don't do nothing. You're just mingling with another bunch of losers that ain't doing nothing. They're just talking.